Hey guys, it's Rush. Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the channel. This video today, we're looking at how to structure your pressure, regardless of the situation, in respect to drive impact. As you know, in Street Fighter 6, if you autopilot options, if you use normals that can't be special cancelled, normals that have a small cancel window, you can get punished very heavily if the opponent is using a lot of drive impact in matches. So in respect to DI encountering it, I'm talking about every situation. So wake up DI, DI in neutral, DI when they're cornered, DI when you're cornered. Doesn't matter where it is, it's just DI anywhere. But for the purpose of this video, I will get Luke to do a wake up DI after he's been knocked down. So we'll use this situation to structure my pressure to counter that DI. So it's not only that situation, it's all DI situations. So first, let's look at medium buttons that are cancelable but the cancel window being very small. So this means that you can't confirm into drive rush special in these situations. You're doing a medium punch or a medium kick, crouching, standing, whatever your character can do, but the cancel window is very small. So you either have to commit to a cancel or you're not hit confirming. So when Luke gets off the ground, I'm going to do crouching medium kick, but the crouching medium kick will connect outside of the cancel window. So I can't cancel it into anything. So you can see there, look at what inputs. I did down back crouch medium kick, crouch medium kick connected with Luke, and I buffered drive impact back off of that, and nothing came out. The drive impact did not come out, and the reason for that is, is because the drive impact was outside of the cancel window. But what I'm gonna show you now is a technique you can use. It covers multiple scenarios, but it also enables you to counter their DI if they do DI. So here what I did was this, I cancelled Crouch and Medium Kick and committed to this into Drive Rush. I didn't wait to react or anything like that, I just committed to it. So that was a guaranteed situation. But when doing that, it basically removes the recovery of the Crouch and Medium Kick. I cancel out of Crouch and Medium Kick into Drive Rush and then I'm free to do whatever I want. There's no recovery from Crouch and Medium Kick. I can input my next option, whether it be a button, or DI as you saw then, I can do whatever I want. And this is why it's powerful. So Crouch and Mini Kick has a small cancel window. I committed to a cancel drive rush. Cost three bars, very expensive. But then I have the freedom to do whatever I want afterwards. I will not get punished counted in that situation. And that gives me time to react to my own DI. There's three things that happen here really. DI absorbs Crouch and Mini Kick and there is a form of like hit stun block stun, it's not really hit or block, but there's like absorption stun when the crouch and meaning kick connects with DI. Like the DI slows down a little bit. That gives you more time to react. Yeah. The drive rush screen freeze gives you a little bit more time to react. And then you have some frames whilst DI is still in startup to then react. Collectively, it gives you a lot more time to deal with the situation. And it also gives you the ability to deal with the situation because if I just did crouch and medium kick into nothing, you can see there, Luke is punish countering me because he's hitting me during the recovery of my crouch and medium kick. So let's look at another scenario, but now using light attacks. Look at my inputs. I did crouch jab, I did crouch light kick, and I did DI on reaction to Luke's DI, but I got hit. I got punish counter DI'd from the recovery of my crouch and light kick. The reason for this is because Crouching light kick is not a cancelable normal attack. So when I did DI, I'm still waiting for crouching light kick to recover before my DI comes out, hence why I got punished countered. This again is important. I use this string a lot. I use crouch jab, crouch light kick, stand jab. This is a bad string to use in this game because of that scenario. So if you're wondering how to get around this when using light strings, just use light attacks that have a cancel window and this will improve the situation for you. You can see there what happened was is DI absorbed both light attacks. There was a slowdown with each light attack that connected with DI during the absorption, but I cancelled that second light punch into DI. I was able to cancel it. I didn't have to wait for light punch to recover. I didn't have to even go into DR this time. I just cancelled it into drive impact. 
This is not a definitive situation. The DI can connect with you outside of the, of the cancel window of the light attack. So your DI will not come out because you didn't cancel. So you can still lose, but this is a better structure in terms of your pressure when using light strings. If you do want to throw a crouch like in there, just do the crouch like at the beginning of the string, do crouch like it into a cancelable light attack. That way you structure your pressure where the second attack is a cancelable light, can be cancelled into DI. By using the crouch and like first, the more risky normal when it comes to DI, it helps me structure my pressure to deal with drive impacts in these scenarios. Same with the crouch and medium kick. The crouch and medium kick, by using drive rush cancel, it enables me to be in more control of the scenario. Yes, at a cost, that is the downside, but you're more in control when you know structuring your pressure, especially around DI, it's super important. And this is helping me massively in my games. Now I've noticed the difference and I'm applying this in my matches, especially against players that use DI more frequently. So that's the video guys. Like I said, it's not uncommon knowledge, but I think it's really good to, to absorb this and understand it and it will help you structure your pressure to not get blown up by DI. Any questions, any queries, give me a shout and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.